Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Andy in Boulder, Colorado. Hey, Andy, what's going on, brother? How much, Tom? How you doing? I'm great, man. Yourself? Pretty good. Hey, congratulations on the grand baby. Yes, thank you. I know. <laughs> he just said, Tommy just sent me a picture. I mean, it's gorgeous out right now. Just was taking off for first walk this morning. All He's right. growling and prowling already. Yeah, I bet. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night, folks. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up three at 6.73. Nasdaq is up 157. S&P's up 78. Gold contract down 16 dollars, trading 17.68 an ounce. We have silver flat, 22 dollars, 29 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck and a half, 67 dollars, 11 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note. Down nine ticks, trading 131.11. The 30-year flat at 163.31 and King Dollar. King Dollar is up 107 ticks, trading out at 96.135. Euro is 113. The yen's 113.16. And the British pound is trading at 132 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want well, to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we get volatility in spades. We were talking about yesterday that you're going to see the S&Ps up, down, all around 20 points in about a heartbeat. Bottom line, what you're doing out here today, if we bring up the SPY. First, we'll bring up the SPY. We'll take a look at the type of counter trend bounce that you're getting here. So we get the SPY up $7.70. Uh, bottom line, you get the contraction of volume happening. You can see how this thing shakes out okay so the bottom line the high the high in the spy is out here at 473 you came down yesterday you got down to a price point of 450 you did volume uh yesterday of uh, 132 million you're going up on 85 bottom line this can get right this can this can hit the highs but more than likely i suspect what it's going to do is hit the lows of the highs and we get this consolidation happening out here that's the way it looks to me if we take a look at the ndx 100 the three q's you get the same set type of setup and say what's interesting here is that the actual the three q's are getting a little bit actually weaker than the s p and that the q's were always the strongest what we have with the q's right now is that you got to lower price out here today and you're actually rejecting lower price. So this being, uh, what is it, Thursday? Yes, being a Thursday, I suspect you're gonna, they, they, it'll go up a bit tomorrow. Volume will contract tomorrow. Bottom line, this is setting up for a test of the highs, back and down. And I expect that's exactly what's going to happen. What is pretty amazing out here today is this. If you take a look at Apple, Apple came out with a warning. They're, tell they're telling everyone they're not selling as many phones, and Apple still didn't sell off. We went down to 157 and rejected 157. 
Uh, I suspect it'll finally smarten up, but the bottom line right now, it's rejecting lower price. We go to the gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract traded down to uh, 1762. You're trading uh, 1768 right now. You had 160,000 contracts. Now, you get big contract volume contracting in, inside the gold report. That's, that's what this baby is, is doing right now. Uh, we only get 160,000 contracts. Uh, Friday, you uh, went south with 243,000. So that's what we need. And you're coming against the, a lower swing. The lower swing is 1761. In this contract, we hit 1762. And let's go over to good old King Dollar. So if we take a look at King Dollar. So we have a King Dollar is this. You're up 100 bucks, 100 points rather. And it looks like it's going to try to get a little bit higher again. You know, bottom line, it's still hanging at highs. We hit the 96, 938, 97 was where the swing was. Uh, bottom line, you're up 111 points right now. We go take a, let's go, uh, actually, let's go look at the small caps. So we take a look at the small caps also. IWM, IWM's trading up $5.70. Let's see what we have here. Okay, come on, baby, come on. You're on, you're off vacation. You got to start working. Uh, Okay, let me, IWM, come on, baby, get up here. Here we go. Okay, so we take a look at the IWM. Oh, yeah, this is going to, this, the IWM could be a huge ABC structure down, man. I mean, the first leg is pretty big. The IWM went from 244 to the high uh, to 213. So we'll see where that baby's going to shake out. Let's go to a John in Philly. John, what's going on, brother? I, uh... I am just reveling in the good times you're having down there on the Keys with family. That's terrific. We did, and we just came in. We just came in from fishing like about an hour ago. We've been out there all day. We we didn't I do great, but we I didn't do it. bad. We 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 caught enough for supper. Let's put it that way, which is fabulous. <laughs> totally. Yeah. That's fabulous. Um, I just wanted to give a quick uh, call into regarding the E Mini S and P futures, the ESZ ones. Tell yes. them about long ago on the TFNN website you had what you called the confluence calculator. Right. Uh, let me just share with you the numbers I oh. plug in to that calculator that I keep on my own. The two highs for the S and P futures are forty seven forty and okay. then forty six fifty just yesterday. The low yep. is forty five hundred. Tom okay. the confluence range is forty five ninety one to 45.92, a one-point spread. I've never seen Confluence Ooh, that tight. And the bounce that's high nice. just an hour ago, Tom, was 45.90. So I just share yep. that with you. Uh, wow. I'll take whatever uh, uh, comment you'd like to uh, to make off uh, off air, but uh, getting within one point of one-point Confluence range, I just uh, I can't help but think that might mean something. So uh, in no, it does. Time, it and I'll listen off, yeah. off air. Okay, man. Have a great one, John. Have a safe one. So, folks, what happens with Confluence is this. Now, this is really cool this, for a couple different reasons. Understanding what Confluence is first, okay? So you're taking a 0.382 and a 0.618 off two different levels. What what Z just did here, what John just did, he took he took it off the high, which that's how he's supposed to do it, 47.40. Then he took it off the high of yesterday, okay? So the kicker here, folks, is this. This is what's really cool about this. As John just said, there's a one-point differential, and that's basically hidden resistance on the way back up, and it gave it up. And what we've found is that when you have high volatility markets, Fibonacci is much more consistent. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, 
educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow Industrials right now up by 637. NASDAQ's up 130. S&Ps are up 71. So let's go back to that. Uh, we're going back to the S&P again for a second. So you can see exactly what uh, John and I were talking about, folks. So the the kicker inside of Fibonacci also, folks, is this. Is that what I've found over the last, I don't know, 20, 25 years, whatever. Let's say 20 years because I've really been using them quite a bit in 20 years is that when you have a fast market, the Fibonacci numbers seem to basically hit more consistently. Uh, you definitely want to want to wrap your head around confluence, and confluence is very easy. Uh, you really, all you're really doing, in fact, here, watch this. I'm going to do confluence on a larger, because you, get, you have it both ways now. You can, do, you can do confluence on the way down and on the way up. When John was just doing it, that number was 4591. And the bottom line is that that the market folks went to 4590 and gave it up in spades in about two seconds. Okay, so if you're just watching Tiger TV, I'm going to show you here. I'm going to just take one just so you can see how this works. I'm going to take one from the bottom. Okay, I'm just going to take the number from the bottom. It's going to be a little harder to see. Okay, see the 0 0.38250. I'm going to take the second one here and see where it comes in because it works both ways. Meaning that okay, you can have confluence on the way back, on the way up, on the way down. And then you have also have confluence with support on the way down also. Now, the, 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 you have to make the, the kind of the deal yourself is that are we in a correction or, or going to go into consolidation or any of the all of the above? Okay, so picture this when I just did this here. You can see the 0.382, or the, actually the, the – it's a, oh, this is interesting. Okay, so look at this. I know this is a little bit harder to see because I got two different ones, but the between the 50 and the 618, okay, down here, this is broken, man. Uh, <laughs> this is saying that okay, uh, this thing wants lower price, man. I mean, when we look at this, because point that 618 here. Let me do this. I'm gonna just take this, take it apart again. So we take it apart. Now I'm just gonna do from the tops to the bottom because what does happen is this. Is that when you break a 0.382, it likes to go to a 0.50. You break a 50, it likes to go to a 0.618. Now look at how sick this is. From the last, this is crazy actually. 
from the last leg down, from the last leg up, rather, from October 1st, you see what it did? It did a 50% retracement of that move. Now, here's where the problem comes um, if you happen to be really bullish the market, because this is a bear setup right now. And what it is is this. So picture you do the first leg down. And if this is an ABC structure, you'll, we'll go up a little bit higher. We'll have a contraction of volume tomorrow. And then your A point on this is going to be the very high, which is the 4740. Your B point is the low of yesterday, which is, uh, let's call it 4500. Well, that's 240 S&P points. To be exact, it's going to be 243 S&P points. So then let's say that you bounce up to somewhere about, uh, let's say, 46, 49. Well, you, that is saying that, guess what, 240, that's saying you're going to be down to 4,400. And the last low is 44.97. That's saying that you get an ABC structure down into that. You have a potential ABC structure down into those levels. So food for thought. There's going to be a lot of trade and a lot of volatility. And once volatility comes in, if you've been listening to Larry Pesavento show, you know, but when volatility comes in, folks, it just doesn't disappear. It comes in. It comes in for a couple months. And once you get used to it, you'll actually be sad when it goes away because what ends up happening is that that whole saying I get, and thank God there's always another trade, what happens, that's in a volatile market. What ends up happening is that you might think that, oh, my God, i got to wait for a trade. Well, you don't have to wait too long in a volatile market. That, that's, that's the real bottom line. Um, that's how this baby shakes out. Some of the high volume equities that we got out here, this is how we're, we're shaking it out. You get uh, Apple's down a buck 24. You get Advanced Micro up 210. Bank of America's up 131. Delta's up 280. I'll get Uber up at two. Uh, $2.11. Let's go over to the note and bond market. We take a no look at the note and bond market out here. What we have in the note and bond market, it trading 131.11 right now. This this market doesn't want to back off. That's the real bottom line. That's note and bond market. Um, you can see yesterday, yesterday, as soon as there's a, a little problem, uh, the bottom line is that they go into notes and bonds as fast as they can. And you're going to see um, this is getting into a swing point. The swing we're getting into is the 130, 130. And more than likely, this 10-year, uh, it looks to me like 134 is going to be gain. Let me just pull this up. So if I take – okay, so we're on the March contract. We take a look at the March contract. Yeah, this thing, this thing wants higher price. So – the March contract was 131.21 right now, and you break 130. Oh, look at that! Hold on. No, 130. Where 130.21? You break 131.05, and you are off to the races. Um, the 10-year right now is yielding out here at 1.44. That's what we yield in. Let's go take a look at Microsoft since. Uh, Nadella sold half his position in Microsoft, which is just pretty amazing, actually. Okay, so Microsoft just going sideways out here today. You get light volume. You're going sideways. No, no big sellers in Microsoft out here today. We go to Amazon. We take a look at Amazon. We're coming up to the holidays. Amazon's down 18 bucks. We are trading. You're trading with light volume. So this is this is a decent setup, man. You know, this is still in consolidation. When you're going south, you know, the bottom line is that uh, you want to see – light volume and that's you know that's how this baby's shaking out what amazon did do it went up to the top of the consolidation couldn't handle the, the high and i suspect you're going to be right back down to the bottom of the consolidation uh in amazon amazon look at how long amazon's been consolidating amazon has been consolidating since july of 2020 yes that is a long time to consolidate the gdx let's get into the gdx take a look at these gold Miners out here, the GDX, we had Newmont as well as uh, Barrick. They're basically keeping this baby down. Uh, that being said, what you have, you have 21 million shares out here today. That's a good contraction of volume. You're going into 34 million. So we hit a low of 3009. No. 3009? Yeah, that's right, 3009. Um, so the high of the low is 2941. Yeah, this might be it. 
This might be it. It's going to be close call, man. And the yen. Let's go over to the yen. The yen, you know, a couple days ago, man, that thing got absolutely so strong. And that's why you saw gold go so I See, the yen can't get out of its way. This is good for the gold market. So, you know, last last week we had the yen go from 115 to 113. That's a monster move. It's hanging out at 113 right now. I just, well, we'll see whether it's building cause for lower price. Uh, if that's what we get, you're going to get some real action. Uh, out News-wise out here today, uh, this is going to be really intriguing to see how this shakes out because you get Secretary Yelling say that it's up to the Federal Reserve job to avert any wage price spiral. The wage price spiral, folks, has been in place now already for a good three to four months. Uh, bottom line is that we're in it. So uh, there's <laughs> these politicians crack me up to avert it, okay? We are in the, the spiral right now. Now try to get out of it. Stay right there, well, folks. We're coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow Industrial's up 660. NASDAQ up 133. S&P's up 71. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up to uh, 660. 
four. Nasdaq up one twenty eight. S and P's up seventy one. And uh, bottom line is that we uh, go over here. So check this out. We were just talking about the, uh, you know, the spiral inflation, and you got uh, Exxon Mobil. They are going to be uh, giving their employees raises. But uh, check it out. They uh, let's see what they have to say. It's below the inflation pay raises in early twenty two. Let's see. Okay, Exxon Mobil is going to award the U.S. employees below inflation pay raises in early 22 despite a strong rebound in the last 12 months uh the the old john is going to increase salaries by an average of 3.6 percent for those employees who perform with merit according to the company the highest average increases will be awarded to employees working the so-called upstream division that drills for oil and natural gas the document said but all pay decisions will depend on individual performance um yeah you know they're dreaming folks okay the bottom line is that you know you get inflation running at six percent they're going to give them a three percent and uh yeah so let's look at this for a second x o m this is where this is this is where it gets the fight between the employees and the corporations as to where the it gets divvied up on making the bread so so check this out this is pretty amazing actually so exxon takes in this year they're going to take in 282 billion dollars that's with a b they take in 73 billion and they think they're going to get away with raising right their employees three percent when inflation's running six percent um y you'll 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 see this get revised <laughs> because they the bottom line is that they won't you know get the people they need you can see in that in that statement what they were saying is that the people that are actually drilling are going to get more, and I suspect they're going to because the bottom line is that um, if you're out there and you know that there's plenty of jobs and they're looking for people, it says, well, okay, why are you going to take a 3% raise if the, everything is going up by 10%? I mean, 6.8%. That's just, it's just normal. XAU and the HUI. Let's go take a look at it out here because we have uh, no doubt. That's kind of, no, I don't want currencies in the XAU. I want indices. Okay, so XAU first. That's down 53 cents. Okay, so this is a nice rejection of lower price today. Now, we don't have the volume today. We'll get the, I'll have the volume at like 8 o'clock tonight. That's how this works on the XAU and the HUI. But this very well could be a nice setup. Um because we got the rejection of lower price at 123 or 125.43, and you are coming into the strength off the last bottom that we came off of. So that's what you're going to be looking for. We're going to absolutely be looking for that we get this thing out of here. Um, there's no doubt that it's stalling once again. Um, you got the Gold Bugs Index, the HUI. That did the same thing, man. This is good. Now, th what's going to be interesting about the Gold Bugs Index is that you broke this swing. Let me see how much volume was on that swing last time. So the swing had 21 million. We came down yesterday with 26. Oh, this is good. Because what's going to happen here, watch this. We'll bring up. When, you, when you're gauging volume, folks, in the, in the gold market, the, the way that you can do this is bring up the uh, Newmont quickly and bring up uh, Barrick quickly. So you're going to compare a new month's case. It's almost the same. Yesterday was down at seven million, seven point one. We're at six point six. It won't do seven today, but that's still a lot of volume. There's no doubt. And then you got to we we got to look at Barrick. Barrick Gold right now. Come on, baby. Okay, so Barrick's got the same amount of. Shares too. It's still a lot of share volume, man. Barrick did uh, 20 million yesterday. You're doing 20 million today. It's a lot of share volume. You're going into 26 at 18.05. Oh, interesting. You might have. Okay, so in Barrick's case, the low of September was 17.46. The high was 18.01. We came to 17.94 today. You're gonna have a rejection of lower price and you are going to have lighter volume by about 6 million shares. Now, that's pretty good. Let me go back to Newmont and see if we're doing the same thing here. It's pretty cool, folks, how you can take what has happened right now. Now, this is unusual because normally Barrick, before Rango was involved, the Barrick wasn't that strong. When Rango first, you know, they bought Rango, Barrick was strong. Now, basically, it's weaker again. Uh, bottom line, you know, we'll see whether it can get off this, this low but the last swing low, what is price? 5303. 
No, we broke it. We broke it. Yeah, 5.9 million. Yeah, you broke it. In Barrick's case, we broke it with volume. And you're above it right now. But uh, that's still dangerous, man. That's the, Let's go to Royal Gold and see what we're doing with Royal. So if these streamers can get going, so let's get a little bid out here today. That rejected lower price. That's good. That rejected lower price at 96. It's at 99. Now, let's... H. What I'm looking for now is this, is that we are looking for Fidelity coming in, buying any of these goals. Because once they come in, it changes the dynamic like so quick. It's pretty amazing. And I, I know that sounds insane, but it does. Wellington. So right down here, Welling oh, that's not good. Look at that. Wellington's at zero now. So Wellington, State Street. Fidelity, they all oh, this fidelity right there. So they only have they sold ninety six. They got a half million shares left of Wrangle. I mean uh, Royal Gold. I'm gonna go back to we know that they owned a huge amount of Barrick because what ended up happening, they were an owner of not only Barrick before Barrick bought Wrangle, but they were Wrangle's biggest owner. And you can see right now, right there. Yeah, well, they, thank God they haven't sold for a while. They still they own 51 million shares. They can see that on the last filing, the September filing, they sold 8.1 million shares. Uh, capital Group, they're buyers. This is good. See this Capital Group up here? That is a big mutual fund, but they're they're huge. They and they love some of these. You know what's amazing, folks? I actually did a workshop, not a workshop. I did a show live from capital group headquarters it's in california and it's so amazing because what they have they have a library that is absolutely phenomenal because that company's been around so long the library is insane they put me in the library uh to do the workshop i was out there doing a i mean to do the radio show i was doing a uh workshop this has got that long oh my god for uh one of our advertisers uh it was forget the actual name of the it was a software they were out of sarasota but we were out in orange county and uh, they had another office out in orange county pretty wild let's go take a look at the silver market out here so silver S i h let's go take a look at so you get march silver we're actually up four cents yeah we'll see that's there's not much action there man we're, we're at the lower end of both of these uh you know, uh, ranges. And uh, yeah, silver came down yesterday. Well, in two weeks, we come down from 25.54 to 22.38. Yeah, that's, that's quite a move, man. There's no doubt about that. NVIDIA, NVDA. Let's go take a look. This is no doubt one of the monsters out there. And uh, right now, yeah, let's go on for the highs once again. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Run them up, baby. You're going to run them into the close, folks. It's a beautiful thing. We got the uh, Dow Industrials right now up 732. NASDAQ's up 187. S&Ps are up 85. You know, when we talk, we're talking to NVIDIA, uh, you're going to have uh, the uh, Justice Department. Uh, they're going after NVIDIA and trying to block the uh, sale of um, uh, ARM, uh, the chip designer ARM. So uh, that might as well be toast. U.S. Antifresh... Antitrust officials sued to block NVIDIA's proposed $40 billion takeover of ARM, saying the deal would harm competition in the semiconductor market. Yeah, I mean, the bottom line is that the thing that uh, they had they had to get that done quicker because uh, what you had out there, no doubt, is that we know that's all we've been reading about is the semiconductor market. There's not enough chips. There's not enough um, chips, period. Okay, we know we don't have enough companies. Uh, I can see how they can go after that in about two seconds flat. There's no doubt about that. Let's go inside the Dow Industrials and take a look at the Dow. First, I'm going to bring up the chart of the Dow because the Dow, no doubt, yeah, it's, these like sound like big numbers, folks. Okay, the headlines out here tonight. So picture what the headlines are going to be. The headlines tonight, I always see them on Bloomberg. It's like the biggest day of the year or something, okay? And what blows my mind is that this is like what always happens on downdrafts. It's like, okay, so the Dow has just come down from a price point of, let's see, of 36500 We hit a low yesterday of uh, 34000 But now all of a sudden it's going to be the biggest day in the year because we're up 723 points. Yeah, you get the gist of it, folks, okay? Uh, and, well, let's see what we're going to have. It's, it's going to be a... Um, a move on light volume i suspect so even the nasdaq that's interesting the nasdaq right now is running 4.6 billion and it did 6 billion yesterday so that'll do about five so that's running ahead uh with light volume and the nasdaq composite oh look at this the composite yeah where this is a so the composite right now is running 716 million versus 1.2 billion yesterday versus 2.1 billion uh, on uh, Monday. Monday? No, Monday. Oh, on Tuesday. Fr last Friday we did 810 million in 3.5 hours. So you can say that that, that did like uh, 1.4 billion for the day. Monday 1 billion. Tuesday 2 billion. 2.1. This is a, a a bounce on light volume, and I suspect. As I said a little bit earlier, because it's a Friday, you can run it up to Friday. Uh, window dressing is going to be over. You know, we come back to work. Uh, what's that? Third, fourth, fifth. We come back to work the sixth. Bottom line, um, you know, 
Santa Claus, uh, we'll see whether Santa Claus uh, has any coal in his uh, stocking or whether they can keep this thing up to the end of the year. What you're going to have here um, is the uh, is some uncertainty uh, as to the aspect, OK, what what are the tax deal is going to be next year? And then whether even if nothing happens, the bottom line is that folks at the end of the year like to move things around anyway. So we'll see uh, exactly where they're going to move them, uh, this year. So if we go into the Dow and we take a look at the strength versus the weakness out here. Okay, so the strength today. There we go. Boeing looks like it's going to be the leader. Yeah, so Boeing's putting 90, 90 positive points. Goldman Sachs, 77. Sales foot, 64. Taken away from it, there's only a few. You got Walmart, minus 7. Apple, minus 6. Johnson Johnson, minus 5. This Apple thing is pretty wild, I can tell you that. Meaning that they say they're going to sell less iPhones. So they had already reduced their iPhones, folks, at the uh, holiday period by one by 10 million. They reduced them by 10 million. They didn't put a number on this today, but they telling their suppliers, hey, man, slow down. We're not selling as many as we thought we were going to sell. So this is the second time that they're reducing the, the supply number. We're going to take a look at the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX 100. Uh, you get OK, a TA, that's up 12 percent. It's a big number. Marriott's up 6.6. .6. You get Peloton up 6. We got uh, Charter Communications up a six, taking away from it. Penduoduo down four and a half percent. You get Netties off four. Both of those are Chinese stocks. And what's happening? Uh, it looks that the SEC is getting closer. Let's see what they're saying to basically delisting Chinese stocks. Period. So uh, this is going to get interesting to see how this uh, whole thing shakes out, particularly uh, if, in fact, you're already out there. Uh, yeah, COVID, the New York hospitals, uh, Jeff out there, there's no doubt. There's uh, this, man, I, I guess there's, there's problems, man, because New York State has 11,300 new COVID cases. That's the most since last January. Um, hospitalizations climb more than 1,000 a month, reaching 33, no, 3,900, no, 3,093 on Wednesday. 56 hospitals in the state of New York has a bed capacity less, 10 percent or less. That's a that's a problem. Man. Now this is not as bad as it was last year. That's what the governor is saying. But if you have a an aspect of uh, 56 hospitals that are, have a bed capacity 10 percent or less, it's a huge problem because uh, the bottom line is that there's uh, plenty of other people that, uh, you know, have, you know, have cancer, have all these other diseases. Uh, that need a hospital, they're going to freaking die like ASAP. So um, that is one of the main reasons that you should be getting vaccinated so you're not taking up some hospital bed when you don't have to take it up because the bottom line is that the, you know, there's only so much supplies, period. So keep that in mind you know, when you're taking a look at this because you know, you get, it is what it is. And you know, you're either going to stay unvaccinated and at one point hopefully not get sick but if you get sick the bottom line is that uh, you can get real sick let's go take a look at the uh, jp morgan because what you have out here this is where this is going to go back and forth you can see that if we just so picture this folks this is what's wild about markets if we just did common sense right all of us would think the rates would have to go up do you know what i'm saying that that just totally makes sense that Man, the rates have to go up because, you know, the bottom line is that they got to raise rates at some point. But guess what? We've been in that type of market um, for what? You're talking almost a couple of years. And the rates haven't gone up. They're still going down. And it always seems like there's something else that happens that keeps the rates low. And that's what, you know, basically folks that watch the Fed really worry about. Because in this particular case, if in fact we're in consolidation, which I think we're in, that consolidation, the first leg in the consolidation is 350 for the Qs. The Qs are trading at 400. So for folks that you know haven't seen pullbacks, 350 is going to feel like the end of the world. And you know we'll see where that shakes out. When we take a look at uh, J.P. Morgan, bottom line, you're up three bucks today. But guess what? That's going up on light volume. That's saying that we're going to basically get into lower price. That's how this thing. And you can see if you look at J.P. Morgan. You got a swing point out here from September 20th at 150. You got another swing out there at 145. 
my take is that that's where it's going after. If we go take a look at the cash S&P, and we take a look at the cash S&P, what you're going to see out here, I'll put this on a weekly, and right now the cash is up 73 bucks right now. And, you know, the bottom line, the first tag is 42.78. That's that's 300 points down. And that's not even what I'm talking about because it, you can get out of 3,500, which is 1,000 S&P points, which is a 25% hit on the way down. Sounds like a big number. It is a big number. Stay right there, folks. We're going to come back with Mike from New Hampshire. We have the Dow Industrials right now uh, up 644. NASDAQ's up 139. S&P's up 68. We'll come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis the tiger first mortgage program may be the program for you the best rate on a five-year cd in the country right now according to bankrate.com is paying one percent per year or one thousand dollars per one hundred thousand dollars invested the tiger first mortgage program pays seven percent per year paid monthly on secured high value buildable properties in st petersburg florida the investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Mike in New Hampshire. Hey, Mike, what's going on? How are you doing, Tom? Hope you're doing well. Great, man. Yourself? Well, thank you. Can you please uh, look at a daily chart for me on the Dow Jones uh, cash indice? Yeah. I'm up. Okay. And if you take your, your Fibonacci tool there and make your A point, make it November 8th. November 8th? Okay, yeah, yeah that'd be correct. Yep. And if your B point is December 1st. Okay. Where's your point six one eight retracement? Wouldn't wouldn't it be something if this could somehow work its way up there and fill that gap? 
Uh, yeah, that could, that, that could do it. There's no doubt. So if we take a look, let's just take a look at this. So if we put this down, this is pretty cool. Yeah, and that's what it would be. Oh, my God, that's funny. Yeah. So what Mike's talking about, right? if you're watching Talking TV, folks, you're going to see the gap is at a point six one eight of the, the move lower, man. That's crazy. Wow, that's a trip. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that's possible, Tom. It could actually oh, happen yeah, yeah, somehow. Yeah. yeah, it's possible, for sure. I mean, my take is that I think time-wise, the, the Dow is not going to have enough time to do it. Because my take is that, like, we'd go higher tomorrow. And then I think next week that we're going to start going lower again. So I, I just don't see it doing it that quick. But um, I hear you. Know. You. Yeah. Look how that lines so, up, though. <laughs> it lines wow. up sweet. I know. <laughs> well, and then something to watch tomorrow is watch the 34,990, okay, which that's, yeah. that's another 400 points. Because if that's what we do and we back off, that's almost like, okay, man, that's what it wants to do. And that's going to be the, you know. C point of that ABC structure, the potential ABC structure on the way down. But that's pretty cool, man. I appreciate the phone call because that's, yeah, because that's game. There's no doubt. And it's, All right. Thank you. That's what yeah. we're trying to do, find a potential C point there. Thank no, you, Tom. And, and it's, it, it's very hard. I know what you're saying. Trust me, folks, because you don't know whether it's going to keep going or that's it. And then it stops. It's like, oh, no, I didn't get it. I know. <laughs> Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Thank you. Always remember, folks. The bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock. Great show. Great. Building